What's going on everybody? Um, this is the Royal Coast Powder Cutting Channel, uh, in case you haven't watched any of my videos. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about what I have in my garage powder coating shop. Uh, it's not going to be a very long video, there's going to be no powder coating, it's just going to be strictly about my setup. So y'all can see what I'm working with as a home job shop kind of coder. Uh, there's nothing crazy. I have actually downsized my oven temporarily, but I have new plans. Uh, so y'all get to see that in this video. And another thing before we jump into that is I did that, uh, sorry, the RC1 um, contest and I had nobody enter. Nobody sent me anything, so we're not going to have a video on that. Um, y'all can still send me stuff and maybe later on I will do something. I actually did have somebody send me a video uh, the other day. Uh, they had just purchased their system after the fact of all that. Um, so maybe still send me your stuff if you get a chance or uh, keep one saved that way. Maybe we can do one in the future. Uh, I'm still down to do it, but I don't have any dates, no timeline set since nobody did it over that two week period that I offered it. Um, kind of bummed out. I was looking forward to seeing everybody spraying stuff, but I guess nobody wanted to do it. Um, if that's something that y'all want to do still, like I said, keep sending, like send me your stuff and we can go from there and I'll still do a contest. I'll still do a, a cash prize for those that do enter. Uh, but like I said, there's no timeline on that. So I'm not sure when it would ever be posted. I guess just when I get enough, but anyways, let's get into this, uh, garage shop tour and y'all can see what I'm working with. Okay, so I've been asked a couple times uh, for a shop tour. Um, so some people have wanted to see what I'm working with, what's my setup. Uh, so this is actually uh, my newest oven. Um, I know if you've watched some of my videos in the past, you've heard me talk about how my other one was sold and it's been sold for a while. And that guy actually finally picked it up so now I'm working with this one, and um, this is kind of temporary. Uh, I've changed up plans. Um, it's about five wide, four deep, and seven foot tall. Um, I had plans to downsize uh, powder coating for myself and just kind of do personal stuff, uh, some wheels and lift kits, you know, for buddies and things like that. And then I changed my mind, and so now I'm working on an even a larger oven than the one before. That one's gonna be about seven foot wide, seven foot tall, and 10 foot deep. Um, actually, I think it's gonna be like seven and a half foot tall. So I'll get into that one later after I get further into it. It's just kind of taking a while. Um, I've been getting some help when I can, but it's been kind of slow. So this is what I'm gonna be working with for now. Uh, it's not gonna be as fun as what I'm used to, but it'll work. Um, this is the control box off of the one you can find on Amazon. Uh, the seller has it on there. I wanna say it's made by Auber, I'm not sure. But if you get this one, it is a pain to wire. There's a ton of wires in here. But you could tell it's a really well-built control box. Um, seems really nice. It's gonna be a lot nicer than the one I put on that oven over there. That one's just gonna be a real simple, kind of on off and a fan control nothing crazy uh, but anyways um, this is the spray booth that you've seen me use before um, you've also seen me build it in the one in one of my first videos i posted but there it is right there uh, if you haven't seen those videos oh i got a light going out but it's about eight foot wide uh seven foot tall and total of six foot deep but a the spraying depth up here is about four foot and it's about six foot down there where the filters are um when i get this oven finished here it's going to go right there where that's at this one's going to get moved i was going to sell it but i think i'm going to keep it uh, i haven't really decided where it's going to go yet but i am going to move my spray booth to right there and i'm either going to sell this one or kind of like remodel it I'm gonna use one of the, the better fans. Um, can't remember what it's called right this second, but I'm gonna do one of those um, and get rid of the one that's on it and probably add two more filters and make it a little bit deeper, um, just a little bit better performance. And then back here is 
this is my little sandblast area. It's not much right now, and it's actually kind of clean for a change, uh, halfway at least. But there's my blast pot that runs into there, and that's how I, I sandblast my stuff. Um, I really like the scat blast cabinet. Uh, if you're not using one, I mean, there's other brands that are out there. This one, these are just kind of affordable for what they are. Um, that held up really well. It's sealed pretty good. Uh, no real big modifications need to be made to it. But, uh, and then I've just got a, a shelf right here that I keep my powder on and stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it for what I have for my powder coat area. And then I think another thing I'm going to do is where that curtain is right there and that rod that kind of keeps the dust down. I might wall that off and uh, air condition that room to keep powder in kind of like a little powder room, almost just a little cool off room. Cause it gets pretty hot in here. Uh, being a small garage with a large oven, uh, during Texas summer, it's probably well over a hundred degrees most of the time in here. But anyways, uh, then over here, this is a mess because I've had to clear out the shelf that I had over there in that corner. And now everything's in here, but this is where I keep my rim strip at. Um, Cause right outside here is where I rinse my parts off at right there. So it's just convenient. I'd like to get it out of there, but I kind of really don't, I really don't have another option. So that's pretty much it for now. Like I said, a lot of things are going to be changing. So I figured I'd do a video before a lot of stuff changes, uh, just so you can see where I'm at right now. Um, and then I'll actually go do a quick video for you of my air compressor setup, just so you can have an idea of how, what I'm running. Um, nothing's too crazy in here. Uh, everything can be pretty much built by you, uh, except for like the blast cabinet. You could build one of those too, but uh, it was just a lot easier for me to buy one. Um, so that's about it for this. Uh, Let's go check out the air compressor real quick. So excuse the mess in here, but this is kind of just a little room on the back of my garage. Uh, just kind of gets collected with stuff. Um, but I put a little window unit in here so it actually stays cool. So if I get hot, this is kind of where I step off to cool down for a second. That way I don't dirty the inside of the house. But this is also where I um, am doing all the, the website stuff. Uh, everything you order, I kind of do in here. I box it up, uh, package it. There is some RC ones right there on the shelf, ready to go. Uh, if you haven't purchased one and you're looking to buy one, I got some in stock. Um, you can find them on the website, rollcoatspowdercoating.com and look for the RC one. Uh, here's the air compressor I use. It's a Quincy QT54, I think, QT54. Uh, I don't see it anywhere on there right now, but it's a five gallon, uh, five horsepower, 60 gallon, two stage. You can kind of see the specs right there. Um, it works. It's not the best. Uh, I could definitely use more air, but that's what I have to work with. Uh, and then I also have the refrigerated air dryer down there. Uh, sorry, it's kind of a mess in here. Like I said, uh, kind of this room just kind of accumulates stuff. But I work with the space I got, and this is sometimes what happens. <laughs> So that's my air setup and I've got it all ran with a, sorry, there's pull floats and everything with a max line kit that you can maybe see right there. Uh, and that runs through the attic and I can actually go show you that too, where it kind of comes out in the walls. So we'll go back into the main shop and we'll continue. We'll go from there. So back to the max line air kit, there's a job right there with a coalescing filter on my reel. Uh, these are really nice if you don't have one. This is just a cheap one. Uh, it's the Diablo from Harbor Freight. I think it was like a hundred bucks maybe. I might've had a coupon for it at the time, but I've used it all the time and I've had really good luck with it. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend a hose reel. It definitely helps keep the shop cleaner. But, um, oh, where are we at? And then there's also another drop right here. This one runs my uh, powder coating setup uh, system, whichever one I'm using. And then it also, I also use it to run my blast pot for my blaster. 
Um, those just it's those um, the airline kits are real convenient. They're easy to install. Uh, I recommend one of those if you have a way to do it. That way you're not dragging hoses all over your garage from one central location. Um, you still will have to you know drag hoses out and stuff, uh, but that definitely cuts down on things like that. And then you could also build a little room like I did for mine and keeps the noise down in here a lot. Uh, you could have a normal conversation. You can barely hear it run. So that's pretty nice also. Um, and then there's actually one more drop on this side. I don't know if you can see it right there, that little blue line, but that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my setup. It's not real big. Uh, it looks kind of, it might look roomy in here right now, but it's fixing to be taken up by a really big to me oven. So here's kind of a little overview real quick. Uh, it's still kind of messy. Uh, but this is actually kind of clean for me so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned and see what else we got coming for this powder coat channel